Okay, y'all. So I did an I forgot my dead kitten at home. Anyway, I am out here doing a photo shoot impromptu in what I just threw on, well not threw on, but what I put on today for my lunch date for my husband. We get ready to chat, okay? Because some things have come to my mind and I gotta let it out. But anyway, um, I just, I feel really good. Okay, I had to let him have his moment. I feel really good it just feels good to feel good okay just because I'm coming out of the funk y'all I'm coming out and I'm so excited okay anyway let me get out of here because um, there is a like security camera sign up here a the, the people who work here got a permit to um, carry their firearms I don't want to get shot Nobody got time for that. I did not carve out time in my day to get shot. So I will see y'all soon. Okay. Hi. Yes, I want to. Yes, I want to place a um, order. Okay. Go ahead. Can I get two orders of Singapore May Fun with no pork? No pork? Okay. Mm -hmm. And then two large orders of vegetable egg foo young. Uh, two lunches? Yes. Two large vegetable egg foo young. Uh, for, uh, for two pair, pair, uh, four pair. The four, the four. Uh, two orders? Yes. Two orders? One order is a full pair, all right? Uh, can I get two of them with the four in it? Uh, this is for lunch, two plate. One order for two plate. Wait, I'm sorry, say it again. Uh, you need a two plate for one order, each order. Um, four patties per order. Oh, you need a four plate, uh, four plate, uh, one order is two order, alright? Okay, yes. Well, you can, can I just get, <laughs> uh, so one order is two patties, right? Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, you said uh, okay. one, one, one egg for your plate is two patty. Yes? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. okay. Can I just get three of those then? Three. Three, which is the boy F young? Yes. Three order? Okay. Uh-huh. That's all? Yes. Are uh, you just a two order Singapore Mi Fung? No pork? And uh, three order F, uh, which is the boy F young? Huh? Yes. And that comes with fried rice? Okay, thank you. Uh, yes. Okay. Yes, that's all. <laughs> you need a fried rice or just fried... You need a fried rice or white rice? What you want? The fried rice. Okay. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Oh, bless her bones. I like them still. I like them. Oh, I like my um, Chinese food restaurant food people because they're gonna get it right. <laughs> I, the, on the on the website, okay, it says you can get it two ways: one with the four patties in it, and one with the um, two patties in it. And initially. Um, it just dawned on me, girl, you about to order eight patties. Now, Eddie will eat them, okay? Because he is the king of leftovers. That Haitian culture in him, look, we're not going to, um, we're not just going to be throwing food away. Um, and egg foo young is good, even, um, even like as a leftover. Um, so 
we'll get it together we'll figure it out anyway um so yes I feel great today um like I said I hope that the audio on this is good actually let me turn off okay let me turn off the vehicle whilst I wait for my food um so that you can actually hear me uh, I I did do like a new little setup of my camera and all of that so that um well, I use my phone and I actually put the microphone that I use for my camera onto my phone, hoping that the audio would be much better and that you couldn't hear the um, like all the background stuff. But listen, I just realized it's one thing to get a new, you know, little um, like setup that like this thing is like a silicone thing that makes it you sit it on your dashboard so your camera or your phone won't be sliding all over the place um but it come to find out it's my car that is the problem and i just can't go out and buy a new car this car has been paid off okay so we gonna we gonna hold on to this until um, my new dream car comes into fruition which okay I'm putting that on my in my vision book um, but anyway it, it feels good because I just been thinking about this the the funk that I was in um, I thank God for it um, and it's crazy to say you know I thank God for um, my state of depression that I was in but it I learned a lot and you know what I one thing I know about me is when drastic life changes happen I get depressed even when it and it creeps up on me subtle that's the thing that gets me it creeps up so subtle I don't even realize that depression is hanging out with me and attaching itself all the way up in and through onto me until it's like like until my body can really feel it like when I get depressed I feel it in my body um, I think that's just a part of me being such an emotional person is I feel those emotions very every emotion very deeply and I have beat myself up about it I have allowed the criticisms to come and I have allowed myself to shrink back because of it you know and stay quiet because if I'm quiet then I'm not expressing my feelings and if I don't express my feelings then I don't get emotional at this time in my life I'm like you know what I just thank you father for making me me and I'm gonna live in it I am going to lean into it and I'm going to get to know it because it gets to be out of control when you don't you don't understand it and so that's one thing that I'm doing is I'm understanding my emotions um, so that I can be able to like not always get in my feelings but when I do get into my feelings it is always on purpose you know like I said before I want to be um, a thermostat instead of a thermometer so yeah that's what I'm on but um, on my I was on my lunch date with Eddie and you know I was just telling him about how this wave of I was actually prepared for this wave of depression um, I didn't realize it at the time but me doing those live with Lisa videos um, turned I am just Lisa messages and all of that that was and is not just for those who watch but for me too um, and like I, I stopped doing the videos 
I just after I got burnt out and I dropped everything I had to acknowledge that I have to pick one one or the other which one you're gonna do and the Lord was like Lisa pick that vlogging okay pick the vlog so he gave me the choice but urged like gave me a a serious talking to about which one I should pick based on the person that he created me to be um, but I encourage you go on Facebook if you are just you you need some messages go on Facebook on that page I am just Lisa it's all the videos are still there I tried to put them on fa YouTube as well but all of them ain't on YouTube. Let's, it, I ain't, and I ain't even gonna try to figure out how, like, I'm not doing it. I'm tired of trying to manage too much. But all of the videos are on Facebook. Go check them out. I have listened again to some of those messages and have, like, editing Lisa has listened and learned all over again because it's not me speaking yes I sit in the chair yes my personality shines through but the actual messages that come I cannot take credit for any of those um, but I actually prepared for this wave of depression and I thank God for it like and I thank God for allowing me to go through this depression for me to see Number one, he kind of sifted some stuff out. Lisa, you doing all of this? Why? Why are you doing this? Why do you feel that it's necessary for you to be successful? In order for you to be successful, you, you have to build a website, do a blog, do all of this, that, and the other. You got to sign up for this, sign up for that, participate in this, just and you ain't even got started be yourself be yourself that was a really um that really hit home to me that drove like god drove that message to me during that that um awakening <laughs> that down period of my life um but how I prepared for it is back when COVID happened I had I experienced depression too from being like the anxiety of all of that happening like we've never been in a pandemic before and I have not experienced a pandemic before in my life not like that and although we were blessed in the process God took good care of us during that time one of the things that I did was I I started a self-care drawer so that all of my self-care things were just a little bit of everywhere okay um, my skincare things were in one place my um, toothbrush and all of that was in one place my fragrances were in one place and I just I had a feeling and I know it was the Lord to make a drawer self-care drawer of everything that I would need excuse me to do my self-care in the mornings okay Yes, everything that I would need to do my self-care in the morning, you know, God had me go ahead and put it all in a drawer. So I have my self-care drawer with my toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant, smell goods. Um, the only thing specifically, uh oh, it's getting warm. Hold on, let me, let me, hold on one second. The only thing that I don't have in my self-care drawer is my moisturizer and that's because it's in a bigger jar but it's right at it's right on top of my self-care drawer dresser like where it's located because 
sometimes depression can hit us so hard. I feel like y'all, we all have been in each other's faces. Okay, let me do that, okay. Oh, girl, I had it, I had it pulled up, okay. Sometimes depression hits us so hard that it's hard to get up in the morning. Um, there were times when it was hard for me, like I felt like I was dragging through mud. My body slowed completely down and, I, and, and that made, also that feeling contributes to my depression even further. So I'm upset about that too. And when, when it gets like that, like look up the signs of depression. When it gets like that, you have to have some kind of plan in place because just pushing through is not always enough. Sometimes you have to have it so simple that you still look good when you get up like that um i'm glad i don't look look like what i've been through you have to plan that out at least i do i have had to plan it out because when my hair was longer and i was in those funks my hair back in a ponytail maybe a little bit on the side um you know just I would wash my face with the soap that I washed my body with some body wash I would um, barely like didn't didn't even feel like getting in the shower I did it because I ain't trying to be like of all the things my house could be junky but it will not be stinky okay i it, i gotta tackle a smell and it's no different with my body but it was that was my bare minimum and that's all i did was my bare minimum like i moisturized my face because i could feel it getting tight and dry and cracked out but i moisturized my face with whatever would moisturize it like I have when when my kids were young I put some baby lotion on it it just did what it would have did but um I don't know this time after looking back on the past because life happens and it may sound crazy to say I've got to go ahead now while things are good to prepare for you know rounds of depression but that is for real just like you save your money for retirement just like you save your money for the rainy day save some <clears throat> prepare your life for the rainy days you know that's what i did and it was a blessing i cut off my hair just before I'm glad I'm so glad I did this because standing up and and putting crochets in my head and all of that just would not have been um, beneficial to me. But in addition to feeling already feeling down for whatever the circumstance, whatever it is that's going on in your mind and your heart and in your surroundings what can add to the depression and push you down into a further spiral is getting up and passing by a mirror and you don't look the way you want to look that will push it down further it will push it down further you know um when COVID happened i i stopped dressing up like and I was dressing up to go to work every day. Like I enjoy dressing up. And it it all of that stopped. It was leggings and a t-shirt. And I am not leggings and a t-shirt do what it's supposed to do, but that don't thrill me. Okay. Dressing up thrills me. I was the kid, my mom had to 
um, keep my church dresses out of my reach because I would put them on. I would put them on. Um, and I'm no different now, but w you know, when, when everything stopped and I wasn't getting dressed up and all of that stuff, it, it added on to the anxiety of, you know, this, this virus that's killing people and all of that stuff. And one day I just, I felt bad all over and I looked in the mirror and at that time I had my hair just the top was long so it was like I'll show you the pictures I'll look through I'll look through my um photos and find those pictures But I just, I put on my lipstick. I had on my granny gown. Now that's one thing I do like. I enjoy my granny gowns. They're sleep shirts. The one, the one that hangs off my shoulder. That is my favorite one. D way too big, but I like it. <laughs> I like it. But I put on my lipstick. I put on some mascara and i did a little swoop action with my hair and did like an impromptu photo shoot thing in the mirror and it felt so good and it lifted my spirits but we don't think like we don't tend to plan out those little details that um can take us further into our depression. My nails, I don't like going to no nail salons. I'm over all of that stuff. The the thrill of what it was, I wasn't doing it a whole lot in the past anyway, but it just got to be like, okay, this sucks. But um, I just, if I'm in a store and I have a little extra money, I go ahead and buy a couple of packs of nails. Dollar Tree, Walmart, Dollar General, the hair store. I just go ahead and grab a couple of packs of nails and I put them in my closet, in my little container so that when I need, need, okay? When I need to do something with my nails to uplift me a little bit, you know, to add a little extra to my self-care, I have it. I have it with me like on my brokest days i got lipstick mascara um eyelashes fake nails um and my hair is short i got my clippers and some hair color and i can doll myself up like that is the in 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 a relationship that has its ups and downs you know um some couples their bare minimum to show each other that they love each other to show their love to each other it is we may not be talking right now but i'm gonna give you a a, a peck on the lips before i walk out that door i'm gonna give you a peck on the lips before i close my eyes and go to bed and yes we'll resolve our issues but right now um we we gonna do this we we're gonna do our part to still show each other that you know we are in love despite our what's going on with our situation right now with this peck on the lips or the kiss on the cheek or the hug I love you, even though I don't like you in this moment. Doing those, having those little things, the nails and making sure I always stay stocked up on lipstick to the point where my family buys me lipstick on birthdays and Christmas, Mother's Day, I stay stocked on lipstick. Um, so that on those days where all I can do is the bare minimum, I still got a little something extra, you know, a little something extra. So after, mm. oh shoot. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't 
do good with with being startled. Stop it. Uh. Mm hmm. Okay, <laughs> my my um, camera overheated, or at least it said it overheated, and it automatically cuts off. Um, so I need to look at some YouTube videos on how to change my settings because, from what I've discovered, it says it's overheating, but if you change your settings where it won't automatically cut off, it will not overheat. <clears throat> it just gets a little warm because it it just felt a little warm on the back. Anyway, what I was saying, just have you a plan for your type of rainy day, you know, because they happen. They happen. It is what it is. But we can we can be intentional about making sure that those days don't feel as bad as they have felt in the past or you know or feel worse simply because of the little things you know um anyway that's all i had <laughs> just got on here to say that's all i had i don't think this is the end of the vlog um because i have made a commitment to vlog every day even if it's just a couple minutes on here that way I'm always having content to pre you know have prepared because I'm always getting thoughts and stuff like that and I want to share them um, and it's important for me to show up because just like with this last depression um, one of the things that happened is I got burnt out. I dropped everything. I stopped vlogging. I stopped doing my Just Lisa videos everything stopped so i want to be able to have some type of plan to continue to show up because that is one thing even though i didn't beat myself up on camera about it i beat the hell out of me off camera like that was that actually contributed more to my depression is the fact that I didn't even have the energy, the mind space, the wherewithal to um, get on camera, to edit the footage that I had. Um, I still got footage that I have not posted. And part of me is still struggling, like maybe I should at least look at it and edit it and put it up. I might, I may incorporate it along the way but what i'm doing right now is having a plan for you know the next wave because life happens and i'm not gonna i'm, I'm not gonna act like you know um everything is gonna be okay all the time i'm not gonna act like i will never get burnt out again um it happens so I want to be prepared for it I want to be every bit of what I am called to be even during those times when I do have to pull back so yeah I hope you are if you are down I'm just I'm I'm gonna say a prayer for you um as i drive to my next destination i gotta go and um <clears throat> see if i can find some sushi <laughs> one of my girls wants some sushi we, we're doing semi-homemade um chinese food i can't make egg foo young and i can't do that singapore may fun so that's what i bought from the chinese place but i can do some general sauce chicken because my the sauce that i get from trader joe bomb and there's another sauce i got from um kroger that's really good too bomb so i will be cooking those up um 
because I don't like the chicken that they have at the Chinese restaurants. I just don't like them. Usually, if it's breaded, it's a saucy fried fat ball. Because literally, if you open it up, it may be a slither of meat, a whole lot of fat, and then covered up in um, breading. And that grosses me out. You can't just put sauce on trash, and I like it. So, I'm going to go make my own chicken. Um, and I'm going to see about getting some sushi for my girl. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to pray for you if whoever is watching and it this could be somebody watching months from now months from when i post this video if you are watching this just know that i am praying for you as soon as i get off of this camera um because i know how it feels i know it hurts i know it sucks i know that it is hard to show up and be the the good part of you when you're going through depression um because i just experienced it and i don't know it's just it's not a good place to be but in the meantime i i don't know what your spiritual journey is like or you know um <clears throat> what you do i pray to god and what helped me, what was the turning point in my journey, in that depression, was when I said, Lord, I need you to come get me. I need you to come get me. Because I can't come out of this. And he did. I'm telling you, God did. So, just, you hang in there. You hang in there. And if you can't pray it for yourself, I'm praying it. I'm getting ready to say that prayer for you. Lord, go get her. Go get him. Because they need you. So, oh, I'm going to make this the end of the video. Okay. <laughs> I love you. Whoever you are out there, you are loved and you are cared for. Uh, you are in my heart. And I just, I know life is just, is sucking for a lot of people right now. If you know somebody who is going through, pray for them. Care enough for them to pray for them. Oh, gosh. Yeah. So, if you haven't already, <laughs> be sure to subscribe. Join me on this life journey. Um, <clears throat> I'm just, I'm here to share my life. I'm here to share what I am doing to be the woman of my wildest dreams. I'm here to, you know, encourage you all to do the same. I'm turning 40. Ah, I'm so excited. Look, okay. People, people say, I don't know how I feel about turning 40, <sighs> but I am going to be a 40-year-old woman. I get to say that I have lived 40 years on this earth in August. And I am, I am excited because changes are taking place in me. I'm getting ready to start sharing with you all my Almost 40 campaign list. <sighs> Join me. Okay. I hope you have a good one. You know, please like, share, and subscribe. Come on, be a part of this friend group we got going on over here. And just be encouraged. Be blessed. Yeah. So. All right. I'll see you later. Bye. Oh, I, I'll be standing right there. In the middle of a circle with my arms. So why try to turn back the hands of time? Ah, oh, one shining moment. Oh, I remember when you used to call for me. You sooner or later you would fall for me. It was all for me. As we went deeper, found love in a place that we never knew. Change all of my 
Of time.